Photogenic Drawing by Priscilla Noriega, Class Photo 201. What is photogenic drawing? Photogenic drawing is the first photographic process capable of producing negative images on paper. The negative image was formed by printing out in direct light. Who invented photogenic drawing? Uh, the person that invented it was William Henry Fox Tobal. He was born on the 11th of February in 1800. Um, William Henry Fox Tobal had a few different occupations. I did um, put a few on there, named a few. Um, he was a British scientist, uh, inventor, an inventor and photography pioneer. He was also a publisher and um, he was also noted photographer who contributed to the development of photography as an artistic medium. He published the Pencil of Nature and when he did that it was um, illustration in there um, was with actually with the original salted paper prints from his natives and um, he also made some important early photographs of Oxford, Paris, Reading and York. Um, William Henry Fox Tobal seems like he was actually pretty good at a lot of things because, as you can see, he was he had more than one occupation. He um, he was a scientist, inventor. He did photographs. He published things and such. But he actually lacked talent for drawing. And um, even though with this he was determined to invent the negative positive photographic process. Uh, his frustration at being unable to draw gave him the idea of um, constructing a drawing machine, which was a major invention. Um, another thing was um, while he was vacationing um, at Lake Como in the fall of 1833, he noticed how the Italian sun burned his skin and realized how the sunlight works, how it changed upon material uh, substance. Um, this observation, it actually uh, made him suggest to himself that this might be able to uh, photosensitize, photosensitize paper with silver nitrate, which is um, a substance known to change properties when exposed to light. Um, his photogenic drawing process, um, it was you it was of used writing paper bathed in a weak solution of ordinary table salt. Um, and then from there it would be dried. Um, after it was dried, then brushed on one side with a strong solution of silver nitrate, which would create a coating of a very light sensitive silver uh chloride that would darken where it was exposed to light. Um, also, whether used to create shadow image photograms by placing objects on it and setting it out in the sunlight or to capture the dim images formed by a lens in a camera. It was a printing out process, meaning that the exposure had to continue until the desired degree of darkening had been produced. Um, in the case of a camera image, that would that could take up to any um, exposure time of a, about an hour or two is something more like a silhouette of an object against a bright sky was wanted then it would take maybe a little longer but um, also early experimenters had to capture shadows and camera images with the silver salts um, years before Toba actually did this but they could not find a way to prevent the photographs to actually darken all over when exposed to the daylight and uh, Tobol actually uh, devised uh, several ways of chemically stabilizing his results making them sufficiently um, insensitive to further exposure that direct sunlight could be used to print the negative image produced in the camera onto another sheet of salted paper which would um, would be creating a positive. Um, my next slide is the process of creating a uh, photogenic drawing um, which we are you would need a darkened room. 
um, you would soak the paper in 1-3% to sodium chloride solution and then um, from there you would allow it to dry. After it's dried, you would brush on silver nitrate about 2-3 to three coats of 12-14% to 14 percent. Um, and then you would allow it to dry and then you would place object on sensitized paper and then from there expose paper to daylight until exposed areas darken to um, your personal taste approximately 1 to 10 minutes depending on the latitude and also the time of day and the cloud cover. So that's the process of creating a photogenic drawing. Um, my next slide is um, a few examples of photogenic drawings. One is an oak tree in the winter at La Luc Abbey. Um, it was done in about the early 1840s. Also, um, the other one is two delicate plant uh, fronds. And this was likely done about 1839. Some other examples is... Um, the folded lace um, and the, um, the botanical specimen, uh, which was 1839, and also um, the leaf um, from William Henry Fox Toba, uh, approximately 1840, this is when this was done. And here's my work cited, um, where I got information. Um, about um, William Henry Fox Tobal also where I got um, the process of how to actually do the photogenic drawing and um, where I got the photographs and that's it the end <laughs>